Welcome to the Los Angeles Times Property Report. I'm Ann Simmons. A 14-story office building is set to rise at the corner of Sunset Boulevard and Van Ness Avenue in Hollywood. It's called the Icon at Sunset Bronson Studios and will be built by Hudson Pacific Properties, one of Hollywood's biggest landlords. Here to fill us in on the project is the Times' real estate reporter, Roger Vincent. Hello, Roger. Hi, Anne. So, Roger, how significant is the location of this planned property? Well, this is a very historic location. This was the old Warner Brothers Studios. Uh, right now on the site, there's a famous white building that looks like Terra from Gone with the Wind. And next to it is a 150-foot tower that right now says KTLA that used to say KFWB with the WB being for Warner Brothers. Uh, Warner Brothers broadcast from there until the talkies came and uh, the radio broadcasting interfered with the new equipment for recording movies. And who's the impetus behind this building and uh, how will it differ compared to other office buildings? Well, uh, Hudson Pacific Properties is headed by a guy named Victor Coleman and he's got the vision for this building that will uh, make it stand apart from other office buildings. It has a different looking exterior as you go up level by level. Uh, there will be a lot more outdoor areas, uh, courtyards, uh, They'll have floor-to-ceiling windows. It's intended to create a, to appeal to people in creative businesses. Oh, interesting. So will people from creative businesses primarily be the tenants there? Well, yes. This is intended to serve people in pre-production, post-production, all nice. kinds of entertainment-related businesses. And then how much is this going to cost, and when is construction expected to begin? Well, this is part of a $150 million project that will also include a 90,000-square-foot uh, production facility and a parking garage. Uh, they're expected to get under underway by the end of the year and finish by 2016. Fantastic. Thank you for your insight, Roger. Thanks, Anne. For more on this story and others, please visit latimes.com and follow us on Twitter, at LA Times.